Welcome back to Veertech Gaming. In the last video, we covered a basic version of custom feeds, how to find your placeholders, an easy way to break it down, and how to list and delete them if required. If you missed it, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Today, we're gonna cover the same thing, but on a little bit more of an advanced level. Ensure that you have your notes open along with the Veertech docs for reference. Without further ado, let's get into it. From the last video, you'll know that the basic feed is as seen here on screen. Player name, killed player name. This time, I wanna change a lot of this context, so let's type it out. I want my feeds to show player name, this time in their clan color, if they're part of a clan. If they're not, they'll remain white in game. So I'll type in my notes player name and then C next to it to know that I want it in clan colors. Wiped out, player name, again in clan colors, so player name C, but that's not all. I want there to be a following line and I want it to use the kills, deaths, and KD ratio on each line. Navigating to the custom feeds page, we know we now need a handful of placeholders. Starting at tips and tricks, we see here that we have the new line option. This is left arrow, the letters BR, and then right arrow. So copy and paste this into your notes. Back to the docs, we're now looking for the clan colors. I'm going to grab both the killer clan tag and the killer clan color. Copy and paste these both into our notes. Back to the docs. We know here we have killer player name. Let's again copy this into the notes. And now if we scroll down a little, we have killer PVP kills. And as you can see in the example, this will display as a number only of the PVP kills this player has carried out. This is perfect and just what we're looking for. So let's copy this into our notes. Back to the docs again, just below we have PVP deaths, which is the next placeholder. Again, copy and paste that into our notes. Back again to the docs. And on the very next line, we see we have the KD ratio placeholder. Let's again grab that. Now we have all the items for the killer, let's do the same again for the victim. I'm gonna speed through this, but just as you'll see here, these are in the victim section of the placeholder just below and can be found one underneath the other. Now we have all the placeholders we need, let's go ahead and build this thing. We know that we want the clan tags to be shown and also have the player names in the clan tags color. Starting with the left arrow, Color equals, then open bracketed killer clan color and close bracket, followed by the right arrow. Note that there are no spaces here. This is all one item. Next, we want the killer clan tag, which is, as we can see here, open bracket, killer clan tag, close bracket. This is inserting the clan tag into the feed. Next is the player name. As we can see here is open bracket, killer player name, all one word with the capitals in the correct place, then close bracket. This is also where the color stops, so we need to now use left arrow, forward slash color, and then close it with the right arrow. So now this will show us the clan name and killer name all in the clan color. Now we just enter the words wiped out and then it's onto the victim information. Exactly as we did above, left arrow, color equals, then open bracket victim clan color, followed by a right arrow. Open bracket victim clan tag, open bracket again, player name followed by the close bracket, and then finally left arrow, forward slash, color, and then a right arrow. Did you get all that? I hope so. I know it's a little extensive, but stick with it. It'll all be worth the payoff. Now it's time to create a new line. To do this, as we see here, it's a left arrow, the letters B, R, then right arrow. This tells the bot that we want to now create a second line on the kill feed. As I mentioned before, we now want to show the killer's name, followed by their stats. So we started with open bracket, killer player name, close bracket, and now to the information. So let's enter kills equals, followed by the placeholder, open bracket, killer PVP kills, close bracket. Then onto the deaths. Let's go with deaths equals, and again, the placeholder, open bracket, killer PVP deaths, close bracket. And finally, the KD. KD equals, and the final placeholder, open bracket, killer PVP, KD, and the final close bracket. Remember to check back on this info, ensuring capitalization. It matters. Brackets, everything. It's all very important. Make sure they're in the right place according to the information on the docs. Failure to follow this correctly will cause a feed error and it will not show correctly. Starting yet another new line with left arrow, BR, and then right arrow, we now need to repeat the information for the victim using the victim placeholders. I'm again going to speed through this as the information will be exactly the same, but be sure to watch along.
Now we have completed the feed, ensure we've checked it for all errors, and reading back so we can be sure that it says exactly what we want it to say. Let's go ahead, copy all this, right click and copy, and it's time to install this into our bot. Let's head back into Discord. Using the command slash feeds game add and selecting our game server, again for the type we need to enter the text PVP for option to show up, hit enter and finally paste our new feed into this bow. Once we hit submit, you can see here that our feed has been registered. And there you have it! We have successfully installed an advanced custom PVP feed to show in game, showing the killer and victim information, including who killed who, the clan tags, should they have one, and in the clan colors. And finally, the player information, kills, deaths, all that important KD ratio stuff. Join us in the next video where we will head into how to do all the same again, but in Discord. Until then, happy grubbing.